welcome to the show <clears throat> psychic medium tony green i am tony green the psychic medium first and foremost i say this on every show but for anybody who might be new please do not get scammed i will never reach out to you on any podcast social media nothing i don't reach out to people i respond to your comments but i will not reach out and tell you you need something and I respond to the comments on the platforms that I'm in control of. So WSCS, who airs this show on TV and all of their streaming channels, and also on YouTube, I don't get the comments there. <clears throat> Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels and, and um, podcast channels, I don't get the comments there. I respond on my YouTube comment and my social media comments, uh, my social media channels. So if you um, are following me on any of them, you will, and you comment, that's where I, um, can, I actually see the comments and can respond to them. That's first. Second, um, welcome to the show. <laughs> There's so much I want to tell you guys, and I I just might get banned if I say it. So I don't know. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm try, you know, spirit is amazing and beautiful, and I know I'll find a way to work it in. Um, <clears throat> so he, I'm going to start with just a a little message. <clears throat> Please understand, I'm going to talk just a tiny bit in code. And please listen to the whole message. And if you need to come back and listen to it again, this isn't about red. This isn't about blue. It's not about right. It's not about left. It's not being an R or a D or an independent. So if you know those codes, you know it. You've got it. This is about... I think the true awakening or part of the true awakening is seeing the truth in everything. And I just want to point something out to everybody. Since the first, the very first um, 2020 debate, when I looked at the TV screen, I said, that's not, that's not, that's not Biden. Okay, I, I knew it. Immediately when I looked at him, I said, that's not him. Later on, reports from a family member came out that he had passed many months before that. Here's what I want to say, and this isn't about either candidate. More recently, it's so blatant. They do, like, people are doing comparison pictures of how the facial structure or the mask has changed so much throughout these four years. But in this last upgrade, Biden is six foot, this new guy is like six two. You can literally see the height difference. Now, here's what I wanna say, and this is really important because everybody is commenting about how we, the people, can see the difference and we can see that this might not be what we think it is. If we can see that and they're making it that obvious in Congress knows, they're not thinking it. If this is true, this is for educational purposes only, for entertainment purposes only, the show might get X'd and taken down because of what I'm gonna say right now. If we can see this and we can clearly look at it and go, this guy did not grow two, three, four inches. Every face, every couple weeks or months is different. And we are putting it together. Every single person in the Senate, in the Congress, in the Alphabet boys, DEA, FBI, CIA, they all know. They all know. 
They're not speculating. They're not guessing. They're not joking about it. They know, no. And not one, not one, none of them have stood up and said, this is a farce. This is a fraud. This is an imposter. Not one. So if you think for one moment that, I mean, just let that sink in. Not one congressperson, not one senator, not one alderman, not one FBI agent that guards him, not one military person that he's supposedly always around. Not one has stood up and said what we the people are seeing for ourselves. What I knew the first debate. A lot of people knew the first debate. But not one of the people who are supposed to be making the decisions that are best for our area and us have stood up and said, things that make you go, hmm, and why, 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 why? Why has not one, I, I mean, it, it's out there. It's out there. All you have to do is find photos of the most recent photos of him, the, the president, getting off of the uh, helicopter and photos prior to, no, find pre, the most recent photos of him next to his wife and then previous photos of him next to his wife. It is not the same person. It has not been consistently the same person. So why is not one person in that realm? Why? So this is part of it. When we truly wake up to our own knowing, our own understanding, and we don't even think of that as part of what is in our realm, world, whatever, because so many people think we need that. <laughs> what? <laughs> to print money for other countries? <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Yeah, this show might not last long, so let's have fun with it. They're, they're probably going to take this down before I even finish it. That those AI are really good at like certain words you say, they just like, boom, your show has been taken down. <laughs> but seriously, think about that, folks. Before we get so caught up in the theater and circus of this and turn on our friends and turn on our family. Remember this, it's called political theater for a reason. It's all a big Shiite show. It's all to keep us preoccupied and distracted with the new story of the week, the new big headlines that everybody gets all tickety talk on their little pad keys about. And then the next week it's another one, a big dramatic story again to keep us preoccupied and keep us out of ourselves and preoccupied with the drama that they're creating. Get, turn it off and get into your life and who you are. And remember, we just any time, I don't care if it's left, right, red, blue, donkey, elephant, any time they start talking, remember, I don't care what level it is, remember, I don't care if it's a one of the police on the route, I don't care if it's an FBI agent, remember, not one spoke up the truth. 
to what is so blatantly being put in front of my eyes. So just humiliatingly gaslighting us like narcissists would do, just to the nth degree gaslighting us. Oh, nope, nope, this is the real Slim Shady. No, not one, not one stood up and said, listen, I need to tell you, the American people, the truth. I need to tell the world the truth. We know the truth. We're just waiting for you guys to catch up and just be honest about anything with us, about anything. So then that's the first part. Here's the second part. Why? 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 Why are they letting this, this charade go on? I know. Do you know? Because I know. I know why they're doing it. I know a lot of you know or speculate why they're doing it. I just want to make a little quote here. I think almost every president except for one, the most hated one by most, um, and this is why he's hated because he did not go along with this, has made this statement. And we're going to go into a new world order. A one world order. And what does that consist of? Well, that's the new socialist, communist way of living, where they have total control of every country under that. And we're no longer individual countries. We're, Italy is no longer Italy. That's why they're flooding it, the same way they're flooding America, the same way that they're flooding Greece, the same way that there will be no more. It's 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 like an okay, enough about this. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. And we think that's a good thing because they sell it as like, well, I'll be at peace. But what it is is another way for them to us to us. Okay, so for those of you who are still left, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Um, confirmations. Okay, they want to do confirmations first today. And the confirmations are going to be um, confirmations are your loved ones. So your whatever it is that I say if it's something that your loved ones will, you would know if this is a confirmation from them. The biggest one is so far is sunflowers. All morning long, I've been seeing and hearing sunflowers, sunflowers, and even the Post Malone song. It's something, something like a sunflower. Okay, so sunflowers, okay? The next one is dandelions. So whenever you see this, hear this, if this was... Even if it wasn't their favorite thing, when you see it, hear it, know your loved ones with you. Um, it doesn't, and if, if it's a sunflower, it can be a, 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 a picture, a poster on a billboard. It can be a tattoo. It, does, it doesn't have to be like literal. It can be in any of the realms. So sunflowers, dandelions, white daisies. Uh, the next one is lotus flowers i you know they grow by those lily pads and they have so many petals and they open up on the water those flowers that's what they're talking i think it's called a lotus the next confirmation is wishies the next confirmation is bluebirds the next confirmation is smoke like the smoke of um, like a cigarette. The next confirmation is uh, the smell of bacon. Mm. Love the smell of bacon. The next confirmation is, I don't know, I'm going to say it two ways. 
<clears throat> sausages, but then I hear snossages like for a dog. So somebody's dog is sending them a confirmation, snossages. I don't, not a lot of people are even going to know what that means, but if you know, it's for you. And these confirmations can be more than one person. Um, these confirmations can be more than one person, okay? Uh, the next confirmation is... Michaela, the next confirmation is blueberry pie, any kind of blueberry pie, like if little Debbie made a blueberry pie or a blueberry pie, just blueberry pie. Then the next confirmation is um, just a statement, a fork in the road or the fork in the road. The next confirmation is um pasta and it can be any kind of pasta um and that's what I, i'm going to oh trains and it can be like anything from the toy train set to actual trains or photos of trains or the group train i i don't know i'm just saying everything because for each person it's going to be different Okay, I'm going to get to the show part of it now. Um, I will be taking callers on the call line, 845-277-9131. And I'll also be answering questions on the um, in the YouTube chat. So if you're joining us live, I go live every Monday at 11 a.m., every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. And yes, if if I can't get to you and it's an emergency, you really need your answer. I do private sessions um, and or you can wait until the next show. But I do private sessions also. Um, if you are asking a question on the chat, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel here thank you very much and please uh if you're if i'm answering questions for you please make sure you you've hit the like button i'm going to go to the first caller 212 212 what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony this is bryn from new york city how are you bryn i'm good it's been a minute how are you how are you doing good oh, good thanks you saying about the con the confirmations? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, confirmation. Huh? Yes. You, you said something about the confirmations. Uh, Hello, Bryn. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can. I can. So, Bryn, huh? uh, what's your question for the day, love? Okay. Um, so I've been. I feel I've been going through um, some kind of difficult process. It's, uh, I don't know if it's quite like a dark night of the soul or something, but uh, I just want to know what, what's going on and where am I heading in terms of my energy and moving forward. Okay, so Bryn, the first thing I'm going to do for you, everyone listening, re-listening, watching, we're going to do a clearing of any heaviness any big burdens, any block, anything, first, any heaviness or burdens, we're going to heal, clear, release that, pull it all out. The next thing we're going to do is anything stopping or blocking us, uh, we're going to heal, clear, release that. Now, you guys, when you re-listen to this and you can re-listen to this and there's somebody you know that's having, being blocked or stopped, please pull them in and have this pulled from them also. Um, Bryn, the thing I'm picking up for you is sometimes we need to take a leap of faith or move forward into an area that is, um, very new to us and we're not willing to, we're not ready or willing or even looking at that yet. 
but it's like one part has ended one cycle one job one relationship one living place and it's just time for us to move on even though we really don't want to we're hesitating so anything that's like keeping us stuck again i'm just keep getting that we're going to heal clear release that and the bigger thing is to see clarity to see clearly what the next step is we're going to clear anything stopping or blocking that you guys i feel these clearings when i do them so please and <laughs> please bear with me in my facial expressions. <laughs> Ooh, and that's yeah. a big one. I think that's a huge one for all of us because we, we, we live a certain way and we get into a comfort zone and then we see things one way. And then when it's time to see a different journey, a different path, a different route, we might not be as open to that. So now I'm going to say, let's, let's see that clearly and comfortably and remove anything, anything at all that's blocking that for all of us. Okay, Bryn, I do feel like within a week, you're going to feel a small amount of relief, but within a month, things should be getting better and going up, up, up. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are, you are so welcome, Bryn, and I wish you the best. Please go to the, the um, YouTube has a lot of the healings on it. Just start listening to those to clear away things that may uh, no longer be working for you. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome, Bryn. You are so welcome. I'm going to go to the next um, question. Um, uh, Christine, Christine has a question and it is, will the accident case go well for us? Yes, it's going to go well. Um, the first thing I'm hearing, Christine, is um, I don't know why they're using the word temper, but like balance your expectations, balance your expectations. Uh, one thing that a lot of people are not aware of is um, in most areas, everything is put into a computer and determined based on computer numbers so if your car had this much damage if your medical bills are this much if you are you know missed this much work or however it goes it's all put into a computer and then negotiated from there so please temper your expectations be realistic and you'll be very, very happy, but it is going to go well for you. Thank you so much for your question. I appreciate that. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 708. 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Pat from Illinois. Okay, I'm a uh, Pat. Did you say Pat? Yes. Thank you. Yes, what's and your, your opening, uh -huh. Your what what you presented yourself with earlier, I it's fully understood. Thank you. Um, Thank I, you. I feel like um, I'm I'm in the um, arena of being in like the clutches of the pharmaceutical companies, mm. and it's been like the dark night of the soul. Um, I'm wanting some messages from my guides, spirits, loved ones from the other side, as it. This is such a difficult process moving through this that I feel it's it's almost like it's wearing me down and the pharmaceutical companies know exactly what they're doing and, and they did and there's nothing I, I, I can do about it. Oh yeah, there is. So, any message you yeah, want me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you something and I'm I'm going to say this very clearly to you, and if you can hear the the my whole voice has just shifted a, a bit, and you, I'm going to tell you right now, part of your purpose and going through all of this is to write a book and to put it out exactly as it is, what they've done, how they've calculated, how they've moved, how they've uh, manipulated systems and taken control. Write the book, please. Write the book. That is part yeah. of the journey yeah. that you're on. We go through things, we learn, and then we teach, and we get the information out to as many people. And when you are no longer within 
the uh, confines of the pharmaceutical company, you can then start a podcast um, about it and um, and 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 go from there. Uh, it will be very, very good for you and cathartic um, to be able to uh, have that experience to put it all out there for everybody. It will be a huge relief for you. Oh, okay, Pat, <laughs> that's your message. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you're asking when you can get out of this system, it is up to you. Um, you have to have faith that there is something else for you that will be just as productive as this, okay? And if you just, you know, one message that I'm getting is if you go from the pharmacology, I can't say that word, pharmacological, whatever that is, end of it to the machine end of it, you'll feel much better. So like if you get, depending on, on where you are and how you feel, that message will resonate. Otherwise, there will be other opportunities that come to you. Uh, you will be very sought after in the industry if you decide to either make a lateral move to to something or to just get outside of the industry completely and do something else it'll be you will be very welcome in other companies okay or industries is, is there industries easier, yes is, is there a, is there something that can make this process easier than what it is they're offering nothing to taper off of what I'm on. And um, I didn't know if there was any messages from the guides um, of, of something that I could do to make this transition easier, because this is pretty much a, a horrific yeah. journey. Go, there's, you can choose between two of three things. You can go to a different system altogether, like a nature, naturopath, um, or Eastern with herbs and acupuncture, you can do any of those and they will help give your body what it needs to supplement, so to say, while releasing. That is probably gonna be your strongest point of doing this, okay? Um, you might have to go to one or two people, but you're not gonna get it you know, the same the same person, I, I, I say this all the time, and I, I want to thank you so much, and I'm going to keep talking, so please don't, um, please don't go anyplace. I say this all the time, the, pros, the person that broke you cannot fix you, nine times out of ten. The person that smashed your car window, the person that did the damage, or the company that did the damage, it's very rare that they're going to fix it. So even if, let's just use the example of the person who broke your car window accidentally or purposefully, they're not gonna be able to take that windshield out and put the new one in and reestablish all the electronics for your digital system. You have to take it someplace and get it fixed. The same holds true for this. The people that did this, uh, you have to go outside of that system because their system is the only system they know. Go outside of that system, okay? So, um, and there will be the answer. There will be the answer, okay? That's what I would say for you, I hope, that um, that that is helpful. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is five. Uh, wait, no, not yet, not yet. I have to answer. Um, I forgot to put this back. I can't find it. I think this is it. Yep, that's it. Okay, sorry. 
I'm getting I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, this question, I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Uh, the answer to that is if there is proper treatment and love, yes. Respect, proper treatment, love, yes, it could be. Um, we always have a choice in these things and we always have a way of um, nothing is set in stone. We can have free will and choose other areas. The first answer I get is yes. I don't always like to just say, yep, that's it. I always say, because sometimes people sabotage and then sometimes people take things for granted and they rush it. You have to move about it as if you didn't know and still take all the steps and do this. Um, but with the care, love and respect, it sh it could, should, would go well. Okay, now 518. 518, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. Hey. Hi there. Hi. Um, Hi, Cody. Um, I'm in New York State, and my name is Val. How are you? Hey, Val. I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. How can I help you today? Oh, you're welcome. Um, I would just like to know what you see around my job. Like, what's, anything can, good, anything bad, what's coming Can up? you define that just a little bit more for me? Because for every job, there's there's a lot like do you want to know are you going to stay at your job is it going to are you going to get promoted what what are you looking for here just define it a little bit more um, for me please oh, oh sure okay well i know certain things have been going on hours have been getting cut for some and i know that they want to talk to me about something um like next week or coming up soon i don't know exactly the day and i just wonder maybe like what you see what they want to talk to me about or what's going on okay i'm just asking questions in my head don't go any place mm -hmm. i'm just asking questions in my head and as i ask those questions i'll get answers because i'm going to go through a list of things really quick so um i think you know if i'm being it's not necessarily bad so let that go okay don't think it's anything negative um i do feel like it has something to do with someone else now when i say that that could mean a lot. You're going to know as I say this how it applies to you. I do feel like this might have something to do with someone else. And then I hear the word behaviors. And I don't see this as being negative or bad. I don't think. I don't think it's like a reprimand or anything like that. I think they're going to just I in all honesty, I think they're they're going to I, I hear the word habits. So I feel like they might be discussing is it someone else? They might be discussing something about is it position no somebody is just behaviors and habits and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be yours it could be someone or something else's um or what they expect moving forward to move up i hope that makes sense um, I know it's it's very vague, but that's what I'm getting. Please, please get back to me and let me know what that is. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Um, if you if you would do that. Um, okay. Thank you, Jay Francis. 
Uh, Karen, it's always been them. Yes, it has been. Um, some of these comments, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to read on air because it's about the beginning of the show. So I'm just looking for questions right now. If you'd like to ask a question, you can put it in the chat if you're live on YouTube with us right now, or you can call in 845-277-9131. I'm going back and forth between each and I have an hour show um, because that's what the TV thing is. They actually like me to do 30 minutes. I go way above and beyond that, but here we are. Um, okay, let's see. We're going to get to a question. Ah, uh, na, 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 na. Okay, Karen, here we go. Does D have feelings for me? though we haven't met in person yet. Uh, I feel a great hesitation from one or both of you, and the hesitations may be in different areas. And what I'm going to say, Karen, is, I, you know, after we've been through more than one relationship and ending, no matter how it ended, we can be nervous or have apprehensions about jumping in again so quickly and easily. I'm going to ask this a little bit differently, Karen. I'm asking, is D a good person for you? I get a yes. Now, there's a difference between a good person and a good partner, like a potential partner, long-term relationship. On both of those, I get a no. I feel like this would be a really good friend but you might have to keep it friend zoned. I think after you have an in, like a face to face, you might go, yeah, this is exactly why. But the face to face is being intentionally kind of put back a little bit. I think if I'm being really honest here, the, um, the message I'm getting is that song from the Golden Girls, thank you for being my friend, and that verse only. So I think this is a good friendship, but if you try to go further, there will be uh, complications and um, maybe even some miscommunications. I do also feel like you're going to have someone else coming in in six months and that might be why this person is supposed to be a friend. And this person, and you know, okay, I, I just want to say this. When you're getting a reading from anyone and you say, when is someone coming in? That someone, or is this person good? Is Can I have a, you can have a relationship with anyone. Be specific about the type of relationship, no matter who you're talking to in a reading. And be specific about what you want, because... If I go in and say, can I have a relationship? Is this per person and I, should we have a, we can have a relationship with anybody. The questions to ask is, is this going to be a healthy, loving relationship? Is this going to be a long-term relationship? Don't say, is this my ever after? Um, because there's really no such thing as ever after. It's very rare. I've seen a couple of situations where the people have passed within a couple of days of each other. But sometimes, you know, things happen in this world. So what I'm going to say is in six months, be friends with this person. You can maintain a really good, healthy friendship with this person. I think anything more than a friendship with this person will be complicated. And that's the relationship the two of you are supposed to have. But in six months, somebody is going to come in and I hear um, January. Um, so right around that January, maybe into February, uh, someone's going to come in that has the potential to be a very long term, long lasting, healthy relationship. OK, um, so that may be uh, what you want to think about. I'm not the boss of anybody. Now, oftentimes I'll say, you know, this person makes a good friend. People 
push anyway um, for whatever reason, you have the right to do that. It's your life. I'm not the boss of anyone. Um, everybody has the right to do what they want. This is guidance. It's not whatever. Okay. And I, I always say you can make anything work depending on how much you are willing to sacrifice, put up with. I know of at least four people, women, four women that are with married people and they've been with them some of them for seven years one of them for almost 20 years one of them for uh, two of them for five years so and they're they're uh, these are this is just an example they're comfortable i'm not saying it's right it's wrong i try not to have judgment about anything unless it's my own personal affecting me sort of thing um that's what's comfortable for them and they're willing to sacrifice uh, having somebody there 24 7 or maybe they don't even want somebody there 24 7. my point is we can make anything work healthy unhealthy good bad depending on how much we're willing to sacrifice what we're willing to let go of or or uh put up with now, if you have a clear set of what you want and you don't settle, good for you. Good, do that. That's always good. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 5415. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. It's Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How are you today? Good. I haven't called in a while, and but I still listen. And last week you said um, black coffee and licorice <sighs> and a few other things. I'm like, oh, those are my relatives. I know. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to say this again. That can be for like 200 different people. Yeah. But if it's for you, yeah. just because it's for somebody else, it's still for you. Just like sunflowers, that might be for 100 different people. Yeah. It's for you. Butterflies. Yes, yes. Oh, and right now I'm hearing, I don't know if this is you, Kate. Um, what is that? Can't, not, it's a Butterfinger. Butterfinger. So that's a confirmation for somebody, and they keep oh, showing okay. me the Butterfinger candy bar. So Butterfinger and toffee, uh -huh. those are confirmations. If they're for Kate, great. If they're for other people also, they're for other people also. Okay, go ahead, Kate. Yeah. So um, I mentioned a while ago about going to Mexico for Spanish class, and I'm going. Good. Love it. Yeah, like about a week or two days. Oh. So um, I was wondering if you would help me with the clearing of, I uh, will get everything done. You know, just like clear my head a little bit, one thing at a time. I can do everything it takes and enjoy it and have a calm okay let me let me do this a different way do you just want to be prepared for your trip get everything done that needs to be for the trip or do are you unmotivated oh i'm not unmotivated it's uh it feels like too much okay yeah, you're overwhelmed so just, um a smooth everything happening in a smooth planned out easy manner okay here's what i'm gonna do kate for you because i like to make them all inclusive like a resort <laughs> i'm gonna say i'm gonna do this in a way that it can be helpful for everybody so i'm gonna say um we are overwhelmed we're going to clear heal release anything and everything that is uh yeah. making us feel think no believe we are overwhelmed or overwhelming us we're gonna pull all of that Okay, <laughs> next, <laughs> Before, we're going to call all that caused it, all that kept it. Now we're going to do this. We have a clear mind. I get a note. We're going to clear at <laughs> least that. <laughs> and then I'm going to say this. We are doing everything we want to do and need to do. So we're going to clear, heal, release that. And it comes oh, to God. us with ease. We're going to clear, heal, release 
Oh, all of that. Okay, Kate, whoo, that last one, that last one, it comes to us with ease. Okay, so you guys, uh, remember, you can come back and listen to this again and again, and just remember where the clearings are. Get these clearings again and again. Even if you get completely cleared today, next week something might happen and you need to come back and listen to these again, please do. That's why I do this, okay? Kate, have so much fun in Mexico. I hope we hear from, I know we'll hear from you again and while you're in Mexico. So um, congratulations, love. Excellent. Well, congratulations, love. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. I'm going to go to the next question. And I'm, you guys, I'm trying to get through as many people as possible because I know there is only an hour. And I can't even scroll down to look at the number of callers or the number of questions because you know what? Um, it is... Um, It is, it's overwhelming to me. It's very overwhelming to me. And it, because there's so many and I, I wanna get to everybody and I know I won't be able to, but that's why I do it twice a week. I'm, I'm here every Monday at 11 and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central. And if you're on YouTube Live, about 15 minutes prior to the show, sometimes 20, um, whatever I can do before the show, I'm, I start answering questions for people so you can pop on and get answers then too. Um, Jay Francis says, uh, sunflowers, dandelions, lotus flowers, dandelion fluff, bluebirds, smoked bacon, sausages, sausages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those were all the confirmations in the beginning, just in case you missed it. You guys, if you are asking a question, please be kind enough to subscribe. That way, every time I come in, you're going to get a notification. And um, I don't know, maybe like if you're on the chat, give me uh, some of this. Okay, Laura wants to know, why is the Taurus depressed? What's causing this? Laura, I'm sorry, life. It just, you know, I hear the statement. I, I make this statement jokingly with my friends. Life be lifing us right now. Um, we're, I feel like just right now, this is, everything is cyclical. Everything is cyclical. Number one, there might be something that the Taurus is ingesting that is causing depression. But there are a lot of things we can do naturally to help boost. Uh, there are a lot of, let me say it this way, natural antidepressants. Uh, vitamin D is what, with K is one of the best ones. Um, you know, when we're, I just want to point this out to everybody. When we were kids, right? When we were young and we were kids, outside playing, it was so free. And as we start to have more years on us, that freedom and that anything is possible. And even college kids, they have, you know, they look at life and they're like, oh my God, this is so great. This is what it's going to look like. There's a point where we get and we're like, especially if we're working for other people that we're like, is this it forever? And that's why we plan trips. That's why we make plans for the future. That's why we do side jobs that we have control of, can bring extra things and use our creativity. Creativity, using our creativity is the best um, antidepressant there is. Being in charge of all or at least parts of our life is also the best for that. Um, I do feel like though, like a lot of people, and I'm not saying anything bad about this. I'm not judging. I'm just saying this is just a fact. If people are using or like ingesting certain foods, beverages, or doing certain um, other, like let's just say medications or drugs prescribed or not, 
it not at the time but later can cause a dip and a, a depression and then once it's out of the system things hopefully rebalance if it's going on for a long time it's really really difficult for it to um rebalance it takes a little bit longer so something and it could and again it could be a food it could be something ingesting but then also just feeling a lack of like luster for life so get plan some things plan some things get some things on the calendar plan them they can be a little bit out doesn't have to be this weekend okay love Okie dokie. The next caller is 623. 623, what's your name and where are you calling from? 623. Hi, Tony. It's Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? It's Rebecca from Arizona. Oh my gosh. Good. How, are you, how doing? are you? Good, good. Sorry, it cuts off, but I can hear you. Excellent. Um, I just, let's see here. Uh, you were talking about my oldest, I think it's my oldest son, but you said about, uh, that's my question, sorry. That is my question regarding cars. You said something about career, a new okay. change of career. Okay, so your oldest son right now is not working, correct? No, that's the middle one. But he oh, started okay. working, new career, and it's with cars. Okay, so you asked, what was the question you, see, this is, I'm so confused about this. What was your question online? Yeah. Ooh, let's see here. I don't remember asking. Let's see. here. Maybe you read my mind because I was talking about my oldest son. Yeah, and I thought you said <laughs> that he wasn't recording. working, but I must have misread that. Here. Well, my I am going on a trip to visit my son, my oldest, and he's always on the go. And I always talk to my mother and my mom, help me with my oldest son. And I think maybe you read my mind when I was saying that. Okay, so let me ask you what what what's going on with your oldest son that you need help with him? Um, he's just um. He's working and everything. He just, he needs to settle down. What is going on is he parties a lot, which is okay, okay. to party. He's a wild party person. Okay. So you're, okay, so so your concern is his lifestyle. Concern. Right? Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's yes. do this. Let's just do this. Let's do a clearing and a healing that your eldest son has a healthy lifestyle, a very healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Let's get him into anything stopping or blocking him or anybody else that wants a healthy lifestyle. Let's heal, clear, release that we have that healthy lifestyle. I'm going to tell you, your oldest son kind of has Peter Pan syndrome, feels like he doesn't ever want to be that boring, settled down person that person that doesn't have freedom to get up and go and be, do whatever he wants at any time. But there's a lot of the, um, and not in a negative way, um, but just a lot of that, I just want to live like this forever and doesn't see a downside to it. So what sometimes what we want for people is very in mm. conflict with what they want. And more important, what if this is part of his life ah. path until a certain point he's supposed to be living La Vida Loco? I don't know. Um, but <laughs> okay. but he, he, he is very, I think he would be very unhappy as, you know, as long as it's not like, Here's the thing, we can live a crazy mm -hmm. lifestyle, but as long as it's not doing a lot of damage to our body, that that's a different thing. But we'll, we'll mm -hmm. just bring in healthy aspects and the healthiest way to do this lifestyle. He's doing this lifestyle in the healthiest yeah. way. And you know what, for everybody listening right now, everybody you know, watching, I wanna do a clearing and this isn't, it may or may not be 
related to your son. But I'm just being told, like they keep repeating the word over and over and over again. So I'm going to do tell you do a clearing on it. I just keep hearing addictions, addictions, addictions. I'm not talking about our good, healthy addictions. I'm talking about those addictions that, you know, we wake up the next morning and we go, why did I do that? Or while we're doing it, like we don't feel like, like why I should stop or I should pull back or I'm not going to do this and then we do it. The addictions we no longer want. So I'm going to do a huge clearing, you guys. This is at the 55 minute mark of the show. Please write this down. Today's date, this show, 55 minute mark unhealthy unwanted addictions let's heal clear release them all that caused them all that's kept them um all the reasons why we think we need them all that we're escaping from with them because addictions can be a form of escapism let's heal clear release this and let's let's uh all the programs patterns cycles all of the beliefs that keep about this and that came with this let's pull all of that out and for some of us you know this is like it'll go slowly these don't freak out like oh my god i'm never gonna have another glass of wine no 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 it, it you can it'll just take the addictive aspect away from it and you can have it when you want or not and it doesn't mean it's going to stop immediately and you're going to be left to your own thing. So this goes to the next thing. We're going to heal, clear, release, and this is the most important part of it. And it's at the 56 minute mark of the show. Why we have unhealthy or negative addictions. We're going to heal, clear, release, why they're here, what caused it, and what kept it. And this is, again, you. this might work in one clearing for some people it might take four or five for other people i know people who i've worked on um unhealthy addictions and it's it's slow and it grows and that's okay some people it wouldn't be healthy for that addiction to just go cold turkey now if you know someone who has an addiction who is struggling listen to these two and pull their energy into it whatever is healthy and good for them to have at that point it will it will start to work on them it's just as important to heal what caused the addictive personality and addictions as it is to heal the addiction itself so please do both of them for yourself and others okay um he's gonna be okay your eldest son is gonna be okay he will come around it's just going to take him a minute. He really loves, you know, he loves nice. being the, 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 the big guy on campus sort of persona. Okay, love? Thank you, Tony. You are so, so welcome. Thank you. Very, very welcome. My pleasure also. Okay, I'm going to go to the next questions, the way you said Amber says, the way you said sausages, sausages too. Don't forget the sausages. I think that was like a dog treat. I'm pretty positive of it. Um, so everybody is telling me. Um, 90 seconds. Okay, Elza is here. And in the last 90 seconds, I'm going to do this for Elza and everybody um, that is listening watching we are all that is stopping or blocking us has been cleared i'm going to clear that again we are clear i'm going to make sure that's a yes we are unclear that should test as a no but for anybody who's not um let's make sure all of our every anything stopping seconds. or blocking us in any way or any aspect of our life at all work money love relationship anything at all let's heal clear release that pull all of that out. And again, that's at the 59 minute mark of the show. Oh, you guys, please, please, please come back next week. Uh, Wednesday, I'll be here Wednesday.